All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, let's talk about the Halloween ki Halloween campaign details, which just dropped a little while ago on JP Dokkan. Um, I do hate, by the way, a lot. Um, it bothers me greatly that not everything comes to Global and JP at the exact same time. I know maybe I'm just harping on nothing, but like, you know, celebration info being a little bit ahead on JP. Um, at World Tournament Rewards, being early on JP is an... Like, it makes sense to me why the Global World Tournament is a little bit longer. That does make sense. But then they could still give out the rewards at the same time for each version, right? Like, I I just wish everything, like, you know, tweet out easy details. Like, we're close, and, and there's only one more batch of content, by the way, that needs to come out for Global to be completely caught up with all the missing stuff. All we just need is the Jiren stuff. Um, and we're going to be good to go, right? So, all right, um, let's take a look at the details here. Nothing really super crazy in here. Let's see. So, log in for the first time on Halloween. That's a Halloween login bonus. That's it? What? Huh? I'm squinting. What? That, bro, keys... Candy cane. You guys know how many candy canes global players have? They've given out so many of those on global. Like, y'all have a billion of those. Uh, and then, like, babas and stuff like that. All right. I mean, they could, you know, you could attack on, like, five stones out of that or something. Oh, whatever. Maybe some, you know, Elder Kai's in there. I don't know. All right. Uh, in the special Halloween event, you can recruit uh, the Goten. And, I mean, the SSR is just Goten, but it's the Goten and Icarus Jr., uh, and then a new stage will be added to the EZ area. Uh, that's for um, launch and uh, oolong right there. All right, so we have login bonus mission. So daily missions updated every day. Uh, you know, then rewards for daily missions. I don't know why it's talking about all this. Uh, is this extra? I feel like it's not usually here, huh? Interesting. Uh, we have the new event, which is tonight. Yeah, it's it's later on tonight. Um. Uh, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll see the Go Goten uh, and Icarus Jr., uh, as well as the actual event is dropping. Uh, Goten seemed like an interesting unit. I mean, it's a new named character. Um, you know, they typically do get a little bit goofy with some of the Halloween cards and stuff like that, right? Remember a couple of years ago, it was Grandpa Gohan and Pan, and, you know, they were fighting. Um, what Was it supposed to be Kid Goku? I think it might have been supposed to be Kid Goku transforming, but whatever. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so yeah, there, there's the Goten, who's going to be coming out tonight. Okay, very good. Uh, this, of course, is going to be the EZA for Launch and Oolong. So we'll see how good that character is going to be right there. Uh, burst mode for full power Frieza. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a new stage. So, okay, now hang on. New stage for support memory boost. Now, the 29th looks like that might be maybe at like a lead into then so the next dokkan fest i've got a couple of tweets pulled up right here i think we're gonna get the details and stuff like that on the 27th for the next dokkan fest we'll see maybe it'll be one day later i don't think it'll be earlier but maybe one day later it depends on what day the dokkan fest actually comes out um now usually um the 26th is actually, like, the the day I'm targeting. Because that's when they show the Dokkan Fest teaser. Like, the because like, I, I would think that the teaser would be one day before this. But a couple of times this year, they've actually dropped the teaser, animations, and full kit all at the exact same time. They did that with Roshi and Topo. So, it's, like, typical time frame, you know, that we've had for years and years would probably be 26th, 27th, and then potentially release on the 29th. But we'll see. Um, but the data download that has this character in it, it's also going to have the new Dokkan Fest in it. So they're probably going to come out on like the 29th or the 30th as well. So we're probably going to see what it's going to be. Um, I, I guess right now is a perfect time to kind of like combo into a lot of the rest of the stuff I've got up here. So we saw, I saw some discussion earlier. I don't really put too much stock into returning events and stuff like that, uh, too much, uh, and it seems like all of this stuff right here 
what it actually is towards is, I mean, if we just scroll down, it's just stuff, you know, returning events as part of the Halloween celebration. So I, I don't think it actually really amounts to um, anything, honestly. Um, like all those returning events, right? So we can get rid of those. Um, now, this right here. So if we take a look at this. Oh, no, this right here. They accidentally put this in the last JP data download, right? Um, you know, th this asset right here. So, I mean, this is very likely going to be the next support memory that's going to get buffed. This secret feelings. And then you guys see that, you know, Boo Saga. Uh, so, it, it's possible that ties into the next Dokkan Fest. It's also possible it does not. <laughs> right? So, just understand that. But I do have a good guess for who this could be. We'll get to that in two seconds. Um, and then there's also, remember, we're still waiting on this, by the way. Um, you know, they accidentally, you know, did this, which typically means a character is going to EZA. This was back in August for JP, and we still have not seen this character's EZA show up. So we'll see when exactly that is going to be. Um, then we have, you know, just again, all the returning events, returning events, returning events. There's going to be returning EZA events. Just again, all types of tons of returning events for players to be able to play here. Now, then we get this as well. So, the Bobbity and Boo Prime Battle is up every day, huh? Bunch of Super Strikes are as well. Uh, let's just cut to the chase. Deborah. I I feel like a lot of people... What is this? Oh, yeah, this is Goten and Icarus. Um, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't want Deborah as a Dokkan Fest. Or, I don't know. I mean, this, dude, does it really matter? Again, like, if... People are saying, like, oh, we should get, like, Chi-Chi and shit like that. Then Deborah can get a fucking Dokkan Fest too, man. Okay? Um, I think Deborah would actually make a ton of sense to get a Dokkan Fest right now. Why, chat? Because it's Deborah's presence is literally, like, what leads to the Daima series being a thing. Dragon Ball Daima. In case you haven't watched it, basically, it's just, you know, it's a story involving the Demon Realm. Which, Deborah was the king of the Demon Realm. So, if they drop out, like, a Dokkan Fest to Bora, I do think he's a character who could and should get a Dokkan Fest, by the way. Um, that would kind of have, like, a loose tie-in to Dragon Ball Daima. So, I could see it. And, on top of that, Debora is Boo Saga, right? So, it would make a little bit of sense. Like, they're kind of, like, you know, connecting. Kind of like the Halloween celebration and stuff like that. And if we take a look at Debora. He's only ever had basically two major characters. I mean, there's the Angel Debora and the Heroes Demon God Debora. I guess LR Baba and Debora might count. But we have this is a Baba Shop free to play character. And then this, of course, is this is the banner unit that came with Tech Majin Vegeta. Um, now, I don't think we would see Majin Vegeta and Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku EZA during this celebration. I don't think so. But do I really want to sit there and say the chances are zero? No, I don't. What is Deborah's categories, actually? Uh, oh. Yeah, you know what, chat? Maybe, maybe Deborah's not going to be a Dokkan Fest right now. Four categories, is it? Uh, I, I don't know. Because he doesn't even have enough categories for, like, a typical leader skill, right? Like, let's look at Vegeta's. Vegeta has, what, five categories? Yeah, Vegeta has five categories in his leader skill. And poor Deborah here, man, has only got four categories. So, I don't, like, what would even his... He is on terrifying... I don't... I don't Deborah as a terrifying conqueror leader? I don't know. Yeah, I, maybe the, the dream of the Deborah Dokkan Fest... That might need to die until there's more categories in the game. Because, I mean, he's... Dude, he's got nothing. Like, look at this. Like, and, and his team, it's gonna suck. They would have to make Debora like, a crazy, like, AGL Kid Gohan type of Dokkan Fest. He would be sick if they did. But if they just make him, like, some generic hard hitter slot 2 character... He's going to suck, and his team is probably going to suck, just based off of links and categories alone. Because, I mean, if you look at his link set, that boy is going to be sitting there with a lot of dead links, 
and categories, I mean, there's not a ton to work with right there. So we'll see, we'll see. So we have these two things kind of hovering here. This might only just be part of the Halloween celebration and mean nothing for the actual, you know, next Dokkan Fest that's coming out. Uh, oh, I didn't, there was, yeah, this, this last part right here. So then there's also this. Um, if we take a look, so I, I was just pointing out how um, the next Dokkan Fest is going to be shown here. And this person was like, well, wait, where, where's Heroes? And it's like, weren't Heroes units announced around this time frame? This is true. Uh, for many years in a row, they actually did show us the Heroes characters in October. That is true. Um, but the reason they would do that is because it was the Heroes anniversary stream. Um, I could just quickly throw this up. Um, I, I This was one of my favorite things that every year, by the way. Me and Gresh, we stream this several years in a row. And even besides the Dokkan stuff, I always just had fun with this. Yeah, here we go, right here. So this, every year, we just kind of, oh my god, yeah. Dude, and always, yes, dude, there's always a world tournament during this time. Heroes characters were announced during a world tournament like 500 times in a row. Yeah, and then here's, you know, we're watching the Heroes stuff. Uh, and then at some point they do, yeah, yeah. Then, then he, here it is, right, right, where they're showing the um, the Dokkan Heroes characters. And this was October twenty second of twenty twenty three, right? Yeah. But uh, Heroes is ending. It's going to be replaced by Dragon Ball Super Divers. So with that being a thing now, um, obviously we no longer have a, a hero stream, and thus we don't have the early look at the Heroes characters either. So, I don't think uh, we're going to find out who the heroes characters are until uh, until they're tweeted. It might not be until they're tweeted, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what it's going to look like. But we're probably not going to see these guys. And, and, by the way, the heroes characters. Um, what's the easiest way we could just pull this up? Um... Well, let's pull uh, this. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. So we could just look at like, um, yeah, like you. Just look at you. All right. And typically these guys, November 19th, November 22nd, November 22nd, right? So like they, they release in that time frame. Instead of a part two LR in November, we get heroes. So by the way, what whatever the Dokkan Fest is that's coming out in a couple of days, um, the chances are... 99.9 percent .9 that there is no part two lr tied to it right so keep that in mind so let me know what you guys think um you know we have the halloween celebration not really too much here but we will be getting a new dokkan fest uh reveal in a couple of days here uh again i think it's going to be the 27th we will see um there's a chance that they show us the teaser on the 26th it's possible but we'll see so let me know what you guys think I'll catch y'all next time.